Today we're taking a look at the Chicago Sky vs. Dallas Wings match, which is happening on Friday, July 2, 2021, and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on this game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. And if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you. You can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours and hours of your time searching the internet for some fake betting predictions and losing your money because of it. Join High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advices instantly. The Chicago Sky stepped onto the hardwood against the Dallas Wings and earned the victory with a final of 91-81 in their last contest. Chicago wrapped up the contest having earned a 47.9% field goal percentage, 34 of 71, and made 10 out of their 23 shots from beyond the perimeter. At the charity stripe, a Sky knocked down 13 of their 19 shots for a rate of 68.4%. In relation to grabbing rebounds, they compiled a total of 38 with 8 of them being on the offensive end. They also recorded 28 assists in the matchup while forcing 17 turnovers and getting 7 steals. When discussing defending, Chicago allowed their opponent to shoot 41.3% from the field on 31 out of 75 shooting. Dallas recorded 19 dimes and had 10 steals for the matchup. Moreover, Dallas collected 37 boards, 9 offensive, 28 defensive and added six blocked shots. Dallas finished the contest at 81.3% when shooting free throws by making 13 of 16 shots. They also knocked down six of 25 attempts from beyond the arc. The Chicago Sky looks for a second consecutive victory on Friday when visiting the Dallas Wings. Chicago is 10 to 8 following a 91 to 81 victory over Dallas on Wednesday in the first of two consecutive games between the two. Kalia Copper was the leading scorer for Chicago with 17 points and six other players for the Sky scored in double figures. Chicago is second in the Eastern Conference standings two games behind first place Connecticut. Courtney Vandersloot is a player who played a role in the game. She racked up 10 points on 3 out of 7 shooting. She was on the hardwood for 32 of 3 mins and also snagged 3 boards. Vandersloot shot 42.9% from the field and also totaled 12 dimes. One more player that came through in this contest for the sky was Kalia Copper. She grabbed 7 rebounds in 28-41 minutes on the hardwood. She finished the game shooting 50.0% from the floor in this contest via 6 of 12, 17 points. When all was said and done, Copper had 3 assists. Chicago heads into this matchup with a win-loss mark of 10 to 8 this season. They currently have an average of 81.5 pints per game, 7th in the league, while hitting 42.1% from the floor. The Sky are shooting 34.2% on three-pointers, 123 of 360, and 86.4% from the charity stripe. As a unit, Chicago is pulling down 36.7 boards per contest and has accumulated 371 dimes this year, which has them ranked first in the WNBA in terms of passing the rock. They cough up possession 15.3 times per contest, and as a unit they are committing 20.1 fouls on a nightly basis. On the defensive end of the court, the Sky have forced 17.0 turnovers per contest and they draw 19.3 fouls. The Sky defensively are giving up an opponent field goal percentage of 41.7%, 306 of 348, and they relinquish 35.3 rebounds per game as a unit. They are fifth in basketball in giving up assists to their opponents with 302 conceded so far this year. They surrender 32.1% from three-point land and they are second in a league in opponents PPG 77.7. .7.
Dallas looks to bounce back from its loss to Chicago with a victory on Friday. The Wings are 8-9 following their 10-point loss to the Sky. Isabella Harrison and Arik Ogunboel each scored 20 points to lead Dallas in the loss. The loss snapped a two-game winning streak for Dallas and the Wings are fourth in the Western Conference standings four and a half games behind first-place co-leader Seattle and Las Vegas. Arik Ogunboel is leading Dallas in scoring and assists with averages of 20.3 points and 3.5 assists per game, while the second leading scorer is Marina Mabry with an average of 14.8 points per game. Sato Sabali is the third leading scorer and leading rebounder with averages of 13.2 points and 6.1 rebounds per game. Dallas has four players averaging double figures in scoring, when they last stepped on the court, the Dallas Wings went home defeated by a final of 91-81 when they played the Chicago Sky. The Wings were able to collect 28 defensive rebounds and 9 offensive boards totaling 37 in the game. They also gave up possession of the ball 17 times, while recording 10 steals for the game. The Sky committed 21 fouls in this contest which got the Wings to the charity stripe for 16 attempts, they were able to convert 13 of those for a clip of 81.3%. In reference to shots from distance, Dallas knocked down 6 out of 25 attempts, 24.0%. When the final whistle blew, the Wings finished the game shooting 31 for 75 from the floor which had them at 41.3%. The Wings allowed the Sky to knock down 34 of 71 attempts from the floor which gave them a shooting percentage of 47.9% in the matchup. They went 43.5% from distance via 10 out of 23 and ended up going 13 of 19 from the free throw line, 68.4%. Regarding attacking the glass, Dallas permitted Chicago to pull down 38 overall, 8 on the offensive side. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Dallas Wings plus 3. Bright Ogun Boyle ended up being a factor for the Wings in this matchup. She converted 7 out of 20 for the contest for a field goal rate of 35.0% and totaled 5 rebounds. Ogun Boyle totaled 22 points in her 32-22 minutes on the court and had 4 assists for this contest. An additional player who came through for Dallas was Kayla Thornton. She ended up finishing with no assists in 25-20 minutes on the court, and she put in 0 of 1 from the field. Thornton finished going 0.0% from the floor as well as contributing 0 points and 4 rebounds, the Dallas Wings come into this game with an 8-9 record overall and that puts them in 4th place in the Western Conference. The Dallas Wings had won two games in a row before they were defeated in the last game by the Sky. In the two wins the defense stepped up, but in the last game that wasn't the case. On the season Dallas is averaging 84.4 points per game while their defense is giving up 81.5 points per game. Dallas is shooting 42.1% from the field and 35.5% from behind the three-point line. Barike Ogun Boyle has been the best player for Dallas averaging 20.4 points while shooting 39.5% from the field and 39.1% from behind the three-point line. Chicago is 6-1 ATS in its last seven. The under has cashed in seven of the sky's last ten. Dallas is 9-3 ATS in its last 12. The under has cashed in 6 of the wings last 8. Dallas has a record of 8-9 this year. Dallas has accounted for 1,434 pints so far this year, 84.4 per contest, and they grab 37.8 rebounds per game. The wings commit 20.7 fouls per contest while shooting 84.0% from the charity strike. As an offense the Wings are connecting on 42.1% from the field, which ranks 8th in the league. They are assisting teammates 17.7 times per game, 10th in the league, and they turn it over 12.8 times per contest. The Wings defensively are ranked 7th in basketball and PPG surrendered with 81.5. They have conceded 19.5 assists and 34.8 rebounds per contest. 
which ranks 8th and 4th in basketball. The Dallas defense surrenders 31.4% on 3-point shots, 124 of 395, and opponents are connecting on 78.2% of their shots from the free throw line. They have forced 12.92s per game and have let teams shoot 42.8% from the floor, 7th in the league. Dallas was defeated by Chicago at home on Wednesday, but the Wings will bounce back with a strong performance on Friday at home and defeat the Sky. Dallas has covered the number in 9 of its last 12 overall and is 6-3 straight up over its last 9. Reich Ogun Boyle will lead the Wings to a victory and avenge their 10-point loss suffered on Wednesday. My second betting advice is to pick under. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.